A giant, 150 feet asteroid 2016 AW65, is heading towards Earth, and will make its closest approach today on July 31st. NASA has tracked five such asteroids, namely, Asteroid 2023 OS3, Asteroid 2023 OQ3, Asteroid 2023 OF1, Asteroid 2023 OY4. And the largest among them, 2016 AW65. Their closest approach will be a threat to our planet, making it necessary to minimize the uncertainty. 2016 AW65 is the size of an airplane, posing a threat to human life on Earth. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. The space rock is supposedly moving towards Earth, at the speed of 2,583 km per hour. With a distance of 6.3 million kilometers to the planet, NASA has noted that a few asteroids will have close encounters with the planet soon, other than the asteroid 2016 AW65. Asteroid 2023 OS3, Asteroid 2023 OQ3, Asteroid 2023 OF1, and Asteroid 2023 OY4. Will make their closer approach to Earth in the coming days. These comets and asteroids are being tracked by NASA's Asteroid Dashboard. Around 30,000 asteroids of various sizes have been catalogued, near Earth's vicinity and have been labeled near-Earth objects. But probably Earth is not threatened by any of them in the next century. But what if an undetected one was to appear all of a sudden? What can we do under such circumstances? It might happen one day. Not any time soon though, as NASA has repeatedly assured us. But one day, it will happen for sure. A small light will appear in the sky, and as days pass, it will grow bigger and bigger, approaching closer and closer, heading straight for us. All the wars that we fought, the historic revolutions, the grand discoveries, amazing inventions, the billions of people who lived and died, young couples who thought they were invincible, the brightest minds, all will come face to face with the inevitable. Or should I say, the insatiable. One day, an asteroid might come for us, and end it all, without any mercy. But, we aren't the dinosaurs, and that might be our biggest advantage. Every year, countless asteroids fly past Earth, and thankfully, none of them have intruded our space. But what if one decides to do that? Let me tell you a story. And this one is very important in this context. In 2021, space agencies from around the world, took part in a NASA simulation of an asteroid impact scenario. The participating experts learned about a fictitious asteroid's trajectory and had to react. In this case, a hypothetical asteroid, 35 million miles away, was approaching the planet, and could hit within six months. With each passing day of the exercise, the participants learned more about the asteroid size, trajectory, and chance of impact. Then, they had to cooperate and use their technological knowledge, to see if anything could be done to stop the space rock. Guess what? The experts fell short. The group determined that none of Earth's existing technologies could stop the hypothetical asteroid from striking, given the six-month time frame of the simulation. In this alternate reality, the asteroid crashed into Eastern Europe. But don't worry. As far as we know, no asteroids currently pose a threat to Earth in this way. But an estimated two-thirds of asteroids, 460 feet in size or bigger, large enough to wreak considerable havoc, remain undiscovered. That's why NASA and other agencies are attempting to prepare for such a situation. Today, we will explore the top six ways we can defend ourselves from an incoming asteroid. Number 1. Our main strategy will depend entirely on the asteroid's trajectory. You might have an advantage if you know exactly when and where, the asteroid is going to hit. Don't you agree? Well, the most obvious way is to hide in the basement. In other words, civil defense. This is already being used for natural disasters, such as tornadoes and hurricanes. Why not for an asteroid then? People can evacuate on short notice and hunker down and take cover. For small 1-meter asteroids, this would be an ideal solution. It would also likely work against slightly bigger asteroids. 
For example, a 20-meter asteroid exploded over the Siberian city of Chelyabinsk, in 2013, injuring more than 1,500 people. The damage could have been reduced, if people had opted to hide in their basements. Residents were caught off guard and did not seek cover, therefore flying glass that was shattered in the impact shockwave, was mostly to blame for these injuries. Everyone probably would have been safe, if there had been even a slight warning. For such a relatively small impact like this, the resources needed to defend the city, would be far less as compared to resources needed to deflect the asteroid. But this entire situation depends on the size of the incoming asteroid. If the asteroid is large in size, then the impact would be catastrophic, and maybe would even pose a risk to the entire world. Don't get me wrong. Even an asteroid as small as the one that landed in Siberia, would pose a great threat, if it were to land in a huge metropolitan city. The larger the city, the more difficult it is for them to evacuate, risking the loss of far more homes and infrastructure. In these cases, there might be pressure to prevent the impact from happening only. Number 2. As we have seen in the movies, our response to incoming asteroids, is always going to be some old army general saying, send in the nukes. The most powerful tool designed by mankind, also happens to be the most controversial one. It has long captured the imaginations of both real-life specialists, and filmmakers, to use nuclear weapons to destroy an approaching asteroid, in a last-ditch bid to rescue the planet. According to computer simulations, a last-minute nuclear attack actually has a fair probability of saving the planet. That's fantastic news, because the majority of other potential techniques, call for years, if not decades of planning. But like everything, this method too has its pros and its cons. It is advised that this method be used in desperate situations only, as the negative side effects of doing so, very close to Earth, could be just as terrible as the repercussions of an impact itself. Nukes have been tested on our planet for the last 80 years. But, did you know that there is an international law in place, that doesn't allow us to test them in space? Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's get rid of this law first. Number 3. Just ram the space rock with a spaceship. This is not a joke. In fact, this method is not only being considered, but is already being tested as well. There is a very technical and sciency name for this method. It is known as the kinetic impactor technique. The KI method is very simple. Ram a spacecraft into the asteroid, and use the spacecraft's momentum to change the momentum of the rock. This method has been tested by the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, which was launched in November 2021. In late September 2022, DART targeted Dimorphos, a 160-meter moon of the 780-meter asteroid Didymos, with the goal of altering Dimorphos' orbit. The alteration was detectable from Earth. If a series of KI missions are sent, each of which gives the asteroid a modest touch, that adds up to a greater shove, they would offer a non-nuclear alternative, for deflecting rocks up to a few hundred meters across. Number 4. Let gravity do its work. Why can't we use Newton's discovery to our advantage? The law of physics states, that small masses can have a string of gravitational pull, if they are close by. The method entails operating a spacecraft with a very large mass, very close to the problematic asteroid, and using the spacecraft's mass to attract the asteroid. The ability to control the spacecraft's position, allows it to pull the asteroid in any direction, changing its orbit, so that it misses Earth. The gravity tractor is a slow-acting method, that could take decades to complete the task, in contrast to nuclear devices or kinetic impactors, which accomplish the alteration instantly. But on the other hand, it also ensures a much more precise result, as compared to the other approaches. Number 5. Planetary defenders have come up with a few more options, but these need to be studied further, to see how viable they are. The Yarkovsky effect is one such method. It involves, partly or wholly changing the brightness of the threatening asteroid, and allowing a non-gravitational force to alter the asteroid's orbit. Our sun plays a very important role in this. When sunlight strikes a rotating asteroid, the dayside heats up, 
and as the asteroid turns, the night side cools and releases the heat, exerting a small thrust that can change the asteroid's direction over time. This would be effective, but would be a highly time-consuming project. Number 6. Can you imagine a scientist fire a laser into space? Exactly how it was portrayed in the old Bond movies. The concept is similar, but the motive is different. The idea is to place a laser-equipped spaceship close to the asteroid, and vaporize the surface below. This would lighten the asteroid's bulk, and act as a little rocket to alter its orbit. But to accomplish this, an extremely potent laser would be needed, along with a sizable power supply, and an array of solar panels. This is the most sci-fi option of them all, and would definitely be a treat for the eyes. Just watch Pierce Brosnan's Die Another Day, to understand the true power of laser beams. Well, that brings us to the end of the list, and covers all the methods you need to know, on how we can as a species, protect ourselves from potentially dangerous asteroids. Asteroid impacts are unique disaster scenarios, because with proper advance notice, they can be completely avoided. Numerous asteroids orbit close to Earth, and scientists are constantly cataloging them, to try to find any asteroids that may be on a collision trajectory. If a real threat materializes, our course of action will also be influenced by how the affected country or countries react. Scientists will continue to keep an eye on the skies and develop methods to send these space rocks on their way before they land on Earth's doorstep. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360 because together, we will explore.